I know many are not going to care what I have to say. I just want to say that things happen in this world that are absolutely unexplainable. I play on a video game every single day, an hour or two, sometimes just a little bit, whatever I feel like playing. Anyways, it, <clears throat> I'm pretty anonymous there. Nobody knows who I am there. They have no clue who I am. But today, I got a whisper in that game, and uh, I replied back, and they actually started talking to me, and they said, I heard that you actually help men. And I'm like, oh, where did you hear this from? He said, I heard it from a friend. I said, who's the friend? He wouldn't tell me. But he continued to tell me about his problem. I continued to listen, and I continued to help him out and say to him, no, oh, look, guy, you're a great guy. The reason this thing happened to you is because she's evil. And I just kept explaining to him how she didn't really love him, but she was trying to control him. And that since he grew out of her and grew tired of and weary of her shit, that he stepped away from her and outgrew her and then cut her off of her own narcissistic supply and said, look, you're not controlling me anymore. I'm done with this. To hell with your games. And that's what he did, and he got rid of the girl. But then he's still suffering from the emotional pain of falling in love with a woman who was basically a fucking liar. So now he has to suffer with the emotional pain. So he found me and contacted me on a video game where I'm completely anonymous with 25,000 people on there. He found me and instantly started talking to me as if I knew him, as if he knew he could talk to me, and as if he knew who I was. Yet I never met him, I don't speak to anybody on that video game, and there's no way in hell he could have actually known who I was. And yet he found me. He's watching this video right now, he knows who he is. Amazing. God is amazing. God sends people to you when they need you most. And if you turn them away, I would not even want to know what kind of punishment and penalty you'd be facing for that. God trusts you as his child to help the ones that he sends to you. If you send them packing, you're in deep shit. Deep, deep shit. But I wouldn't turn them away anyways because I have a love for all men. Just simply because I know they're suffering. I know how men can love. Women cannot love like men can. I know the depths of a man's soul. They're far deeper than the shallow, superficial, egotistical females out there. We men really have the capability of loving on such a level that we'll put our lives down to protect it. You don't see females doing that. You don't see them doing that at all. Anyway, this guy was really suffering on the inside, and I basically tried to tell him, you know, uh, hey, um, this really goes for all of you actually out there. If you really want to have the sensation of finally being free of your own enslavement, of your own mental blockage, and your own pain of suffering, that you need to submit to God. You need to finally say, look... The most manliest thing I could do is hand over control of my life to the superpower up above instead of trying to hand it over to any female that wants to marry me. Think about that. Men really give themselves over to females, man. We give them our bank account access. We give them the opportunities to live with us. We let them screw with our hearts, souls, and minds. Yet if we give all of that same stuff that we give to females to God, man... We become something else. We truly become something else. God wants every man on this planet to submit to him. And I don't mean submit to him like bow down and uh, basically be a servant and a slave. He just wants you to know that he's out there looking over your life and that, he should, that you should be grateful and love him for that because if you don't notice the things in your life going bad, and if you don't notice how your life is getting worse and worse and worse, that is God literally telling you, hey, turn to me already. Turn to me. Stop turning to other things. Don't turn to drugs. Don't turn to alcohol. Turn to me. I'll save you. And he has for me all of my, all my suffering, man. He's always saved me every time. I've been through so much shit, so much pain. You guys only hear my story. I lived it, man. My heart was just ripped out of my chest. My mind was completely distorted. Everything got screwed up in me big time. Then I turned back to God, and man, we connected, and I'm never letting him go again. <laughs> never. I mean, really, I actually have the love that I seeked and sought in a woman, now with God. The love that I needed to have as a man to get fed back to me, 
to become a good, powerful, strong man, woman could never give me that. How many men out there today give women love and get only one twentieth of it back that he gives to her? I bet every man on this planet right now, I bet every man on this planet right now is loving a woman with a thousand percent of his heart, and the woman's only loving her with about eighty percent, and she's acting like that eighty percent is the max that she can possibly reach. Men love deeply. They really do. Men care way more than females do. And when you take a man's child, children away, it hurts just as much as when it, it took it away from the mother. The mother acts like, oh, because she carried it for nine months, and therefore she's more uh, connected to the child than the father. Is that is total bullshit. Because the father that loves the child is usually with the mother all those nine months, taking her to a mosque class, driving her around, kissing the stomach, talking to the baby on the inside. The man is always there as well that loves the kid. So it's total bullshit to actually say, hey, the man is not as emotionally attached as the woman is. Bullshit. If you look at the gynocentric crap in this world, it is so sickening. There has to come a change. Mikto was not born. It was summoned up. Okay? This is what happens. Mikto came out of oppression. The oppression that we all knew existed because men gave in to feminism. We know that feminism is a triangle. It needs three parts. It has three elements. Men, woman, and government. You take away one of the aspects, the pyramid collapses. We knew government would never give up. We knew government would never surrender. We knew that women would never get rid of the lies. We knew that women would never give up who they were trying to control. So we men opted out. We are the ones that broke the triangle. We are the ones that broke the circle. We are the ones that said no more. Make toe was risen. It was summoned up. It was conjured up by the abuse of females. God, that really felt good to say. You know what? I'm in love with God. I love him a lot, and he loves me back. And the power that he gives me, I take and put out in videos for all of you to see. So the power that you actually receive from me, the, the, the wisdom you understand from me, the strength you get from my videos is not actually me. It's all God. God loves the brotherhood. God loves men. Look at the Bible. Everything it says about men and what it says about women. Very simple. He loves his daughters too. The ones that become good for men. If they are good to their husbands, he loves them. If they are bad to their husbands, he, does, he rejects them. God loves men. This is War Drums Fire signing off. See you later, guys.